Let's do it! Hello guys! Herzlich willkommen auf meinem Kanal! Today I have a guest from Germany. He actually lives here, but whatever. Carsten is from Dresden. And he's gonna teach us some German idioms. Uh, I haven't heard a lot of them. He's gonna teach me. I'm gonna guess their meaning. And you should try and guess the meaning with me. Let's do it! Let's do it! Yes! Okay, number one. Number one will be Eselsbrücke. So Eselsbrücke. Uh, Esel is a donkey. Donkey. And Brücke is a bridge. And he actually told me this phrase a week ago, but guess what? I already forgot what it means because the problem with German, like you need, a, you need to speak it every day. I'm speaking English every day, so I'm kind of losing it. Eselsbrücke means literally donkey bridge. Uh -huh. And it's like a bridge for donkeys. Uh -huh. So it's a shortcut to remember or to learn something. But why is it for donkeys? Because donkeys are, are dumb. Oh. So it's something that even a donkey can cross oh. the bridge safely. Got it, got it. Awesome, thank you. What's the next phrase? The next phrase is jemanden auf die Palme bringen. So you bring somebody on the palm tree? Yes. Uh, which from like, again, I remember that phrase, but I don't remember the exact meaning. Um, I would say it has something to do with like saying something really difficult to understand because you're like dragging somebody. No. No. Or it means like... jemanden auf die Palme bringen means <laughs> you make someone angry. Oh. You do I... something nerve wracking that someone is about to freak out. I wonder where like all of these phrases are coming from because like it it's not very natural. Like why would you think of a palm tree? Cool, okay. All right, what's the next one? Darauf Brief und Siegel geben. Darauf Brief? Is it, is it something to do with like winning? No. No. Oh my God, I'm so bad. <laughs> Even German idioms, I don't know. So it's, okay. it's that's a lot. <laughs> okay, it makes me feel better. <laughs> so, auf was Brief und Siegel geben means like literally to give something sealed and signed. Uh huh. And it means like you're really sure that's happened, like you can really trust that's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. So it means so. Can you give an example, like a, a sentence? Yes. So, nächste Woche uh -huh. zu deinem Geburtstag uh -huh. komme ich. Darauf gebe ich dir Brief und Siegel. Ah, okay. So you can be 100% sure I will be there. Awesome. Das ist Jacke wie Hose. This coat is like uh, trousers? Yes, literally. Um, it means like it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But it's, this is something wow. you wouldn't say to your colleague or in a business environment. It's <laughs> like very, they might think it's unprofessionally. So you say to your friends like, das ist Jacke wie Hose, mm -hmm. das ist mir egal. Cool. <laughs> das ist mir egal you, is, a, is, a, is a good phrase. You can say that like in the dressing room of your local soccer team or football <laughs> team. That's like where you can bring this one. Uh -huh. Cool. That sounds cool. Next one is alles in Butter. Oh, we have that in Russian. We say everything is in chocolate, like everything is perfect, <laughs> yes. amazing. Alles ist in Butter? Ja. Yeah. Well, I wonder what's, what's an American version. I think there is one, I've heard one, but I forgot. Okay. Well, if you know <laughs> an analog in English, comment down below. But we definitely have one in Russian. The next phrase is, dann ist Polen offen. Bacon hay, right? Pollen is, uh, is it like hay? Pollen? Yeah. Polen. Oh, Poland, like Poland. Yes. Poland is open. Nah. Yeah. What does it mean? No, so it means something when... Like Soviet Union. No. Yeah, so it, it has the tradition, like <laughs> it comes from the situation of Poland between <laughs> superpowers in the 20th century between Germany and Russia. Uh -huh. Poland was like kind of the, the playing ball between those superpowers. Uh -huh. And it means when Poland, done is Poland often, means a moment where everything is possible. Mm -hmm. This is the first meaning. So everything mm -hmm. is when when the police is not longer on the streets, then is pulling often. Ah, okay, nice. So everything is possible. <laughs> Everyone is trying to to grab something. Yeah. Or it can also mean when you say it like to your child, "Don't do this." Mm -hmm. If you do, then is pulling often means like you get in trouble. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Cool. Thank you. What's the next one? Dann brennt die Luft. Then the fire, uh, the air is on fire. Uh, and when the air is on fire means that everything around is on fire. Um, so everything is... Alles ist kaputt. <laughs> Alles ist kaputt. <laughs> it, 
It actually has a similar meaning to Dan is pollen often. Oh, okay. So it means like something is going on, so mm -hmm. uh, something not positive is going on. Okay. Dan brennt die Luft. Dan brennt die Luft. Next one is, die kochen auch nur mit Wasser. Die kochen auch nur mit Wasser. It's cooked just with water. Yes. What does it mean? So when someone says to you, let me give you a context. Uh -huh. You're sitting there with your local, with your, with your team uh -huh. in a dressing room, soccer, half time, uh -huh. and it's not looking good for you, but you want to motivate your team. Uh -huh. Then you say, die kochen auch nur mit Wasser. Oh, so they also have like the, the, the opposing team, like the competitor, also doesn't have everything in place or like they're not that strong. Yeah, it means they don't have superpowers. They're uh, just humans, so don't be afraid uh, of them. Okay. For, for things that seem superior, don't be afraid. Wow. Go out and die kochen auch nur mit Wasser. Nur wow. mit Wasser kochen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think like this is so cool. I wonder if like if Germans are watching, do they recognize like every single phrase or they're like also like, oh, I haven't done, heard that before. Because uh, yeah, I live, I've lived in Germany for like six months and I've been learning German for a while, but I haven't heard any of those. I don't know, maybe I'm a bad student or something. <laughs> cool. Took me many, many years to learn them as well. Yeah. <laughs> Dort steppt der Bär. Dort steppt uh, der Bär. The bear is uh, walking there. The bear is Step. stepping, uh, dancing. Uh -huh. These like idioms make no sense if you translate <laughs> them verbatim. Like doesn't mean anything. Like that the bear is dancing there. Like it's uh, everything is ruined already. So the bear is like dancing on the the racks. It means like there's crazy party, something going on, like uh, a fest, a, a festival, uh, okay. or like people are going going nuts, crazy, <laughs> having fun time. Then you say, dort steppt der Bär. So, auf der Kirmes steppt der Bär. <laughs> auf dem Dorffest steppt der Bär. Cool. I just wanted to ask you like a simple question, like a small break. Three things that you miss about Germany when you're here in, uh, in the US. Three I miss. Things. Yeah. I miss. They have ice beer here. But they don't have alcohol-free ice beer. Yeah, that's actually, I, I, I cannot say this. It's, it's the stereotype uh, for Germans, but yes, I like wheat beer without mm. alcohol. Yeah, I love and it. And here they have wheat beer, German wheat beer even, but not without alcohol. So yes, I miss this one. Yeah. I also miss uh, soccer. So soccer is not mm. so big here. Yeah. Football, right? European. Yes, yeah. European football. And I miss Döner. Döner Kebab. Döner Kebab, yeah. But Döner und Dürüm, Dürüm. Super Döner, Super yeah. Dürüm. Huge. Yeah, they're really good. <laughs> the German fast food. Okay, let's let's do another phrase. Pi mal daum. Pi is the Greek letter P, yeah. which also stands for. 3.14. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh -huh. And mal means like times, multi oh, multiply. Times, times, so, times one? So it's the, like P multiplied yeah, yeah. with your thumb. With, oh. And what does it mean? It means it's the rule of thumb. Yeah. In English, oh, and it means like to a, a rough estimation rough estimate. of the rule of thumb. P mal down. Wow, that's cool. I like it. So, how far is Dresden from Berlin? Mm -hmm. P mal down means like roundabout. P mal down. Alter Schwede. Alter Schwede. Alter Schwede. A old uh, Swedish guy. So something happens, mm -hmm. and then you say, Alter Schwede. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, your yes. eyes. Like, yeah. It can be like something surprising happens, uh -huh. or something astonishing happens, something uh -huh. that you say, wow, like uh -huh. positive. Alter Schwede is always used in a positive way, like Alter Schwede. Like, oh wow. Yeah. Like something like that, Alter Schwede. Nice. Is it German white again? Because I've never yes. heard of it. Yes, it's German white, and it's also an, a term from which has the roots in the history of Germany. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it was like over 100 years ago and mm -hmm. has to do something with the military where they put, I think it was in Prussia, where they put Swedish uh, soldiers into some leading positions mm -hmm. and they were really, really well trained and mm. people around them liked them. So then the, 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 the phrase came Alter Schwede as something nice. positive. Nice, cool. Die Kirche im Dorf lassen. You can use it in different terms, but usually you say like, stay grounded, don't mm -hmm. exaggerate. Mm -hmm. Like, die Kirche im Dorf lassen means like, don't 
do crazy mm -hmm. things or don't exaggerate too much. Interesting. Be like go with the normal mm -hmm. way. Do do you use all of the phrases that we're talking about when you talk to people in Germany? So those phrases are being used because we both lessons. So if you go somewhere and you say, tomorrow I, you tell your grandparents, tomorrow I gonna found my own company, mm -hmm. and in 10 years I will have found the new Amazon. Mm -hmm. Then they would say to you, last mal die Kirche im Dorf. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, w would you use them just uh, when you talk to your parents, like those phrases? I probably have used them. Mm -hmm. But it's not yeah. like. It's not like every every mm -hmm. third sentence. Okay, okay, cool. <laughs> Perlen vor die Säue werfen. Oh, we have that in Russian. Okay, when you are uh, trying to impress people who do not appreciate what you're doing. Yes. Yes. Because yes. we have that in Russia. Okay. <laughs> yes. So doing oh. good for people who don't appreciate don't it. Don't appreciate it. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Good nice, job. Nice. Yeah. First one. <laughs> First out of like twenty. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now comes something difficult. Da liegt der Hund begraben. The dog is buried there. Um, this is where the magic is. Not the magic, but you're getting closer. It's not where the magic is. It's this is where the problem is. Oh, the problem is okay. So yeah. you're pointing like you're you're trying to okay, figure well, out. We have that in Russian. Oh my god, yeah. we have that in Russian as well. I I love how our culture is the same. <laughs> yeah, we have that. Da liegt der Hund begraben. You're pointing to the root of a problem, yeah. like to the cause of a problem. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay, the next one is Pustekuchen. Can you say it in the sentence? You actually don't use it in a sentence. Uh -huh. You you say something that's hard to believe and then the other person says Pustekuchen. Come on, like, like yeah, this? Like, yeah, like you believe it. Like, yeah. And, and pust, Pusten is actually means like to, to blow, like... Uh-huh. Or do you say Pustekuchen. blow? And, and Kuchen is a cake. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you have, for example, in Germany you have a little flower. It's a Pusteblume. Mm -hmm. The Pusteblume is the one when you when you blow, oh, all this yeah, goes away. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice. Can you, for it, just so people can train their German, uh, can you just say something about you, like in, in German, how you came here, what you're doing here in San Francisco? I just want to listen to. Uh, do you know you speak German? I love the I love the language. <laughs> Ich bin seit fünf Jahren mm -hmm. in San Francisco mm -hmm. und ich bin hergekommen mit einem Software-Startup aus Deutschland. Und seitdem ich bin oft zwischen San Francisco und Deutschland mm -hmm. unterwegs, reise viel und genieße, genieße die ganze Umgebung hier in San Francisco. I love German language. Thank you so much. Uh, would we give like a uh, like a home home task for people who are watching? Like, can you say something really complicated in German? And yes. we'll let you guys comment below with an answer. But don't Google it. Like, I know you can Google and uh, see the answer. I know you can read some comments below. But don't just guess it by yourself. Comment and then see if you're right or not. Aus dem Nähkästchen plaudern. Okay, I cannot even translate it because I'm not getting what you're saying, but I'm waiting for your comments below, guys. Uh, that was it from us. Thank you so much. This was really informative. I haven't heard any of those phrases. I think uh, this is really helpful for all of you guys. Please uh, give us likes and subscribe to this channel because I'm going to produce more videos about German language. And I'll see you soon in the next videos. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Auf Wiedersehen. Bis bald. Wiedersehen. Tschüss.